Welcome back, everybody. The History Guy here. I am just returned from my trip to St. Louis. And uh, you're going to be seeing some videos in the next week or so coming up uh, from my visits to the two cemeteries, the main cemeteries in St. Louis. Both of them have a number of famous people in them, uh, including, uh, most notably for Civil War purposes, uh, General Sherman, who's buried in the Catholic Cemetery, Calvary Cemetery, and Sterling Price, uh, whose grave I visited, and he happened to be the commander in the historic battle of Iuka for the Confederates, which is the battle I am now going to fight. As you can see, I've got a huge advantage. He's only got 8,000 men. I've got 23,000, and it's the one battery uh, of artillery. Should be more than enough to do this. This could be one of those battles where I pretty much just destroy his army. But we'll see how it goes. Uh, historically, this was a, a ra rather minor battle. Only about 4,500 Union troops under General Rosecrans were at this battle. About 3,200 Confederates under Sterling Price. And uh, the Confederates actually lost about half of their men, about 1,500 casualties. Union lost 800, only half as many casualties, and they had more men. So uh, the percentage-wise, it was not nearly what the Confederates suffered. Now, they are in defensive positions, and it looks like they may have the opportunity for some uh, fortification there. So let's see how we want to do this. I haven't fought this battle in a long time. Uh, there also was an update to the game. As a couple of you pointed out in the comments of the last video, uh, it's now version 1.5, or 1.05. Uh, I'll put the uh, description of the changes below, but from just kind of skimming over them, what I can see is it looks like they made some more changes to the AI to make them smarter. Uh, they did some changes to the effectiveness of various artillery pieces. Uh, weakened some of them and strengthened some others, added some more custom battles. Uh, so at some point I'll probably get into some of those custom battles, just kind of play around with those a little bit. I think one of them includes a July 2nd uh, Culp's Hill scenario at Gettysburg. So this is only about a three hour battle. This was historically a Union victory. I believe the Confederate Army was the Army of the West. And the Union Army was the Army of the Mississippi. And go ahead and speed things along here a little bit. I believe all the troops, yeah, are pretty much there for both sides. So I'm going to advance kind of slowly. And uh, I've got some assault brigades here that I'll lead the attack with. Some of these weaker ones. Uh, somebody made the suggestion, and it's a, one that I was kind of operating under anyway, but I'm going to be more intentional about it, uh, that in these smaller battles, it's probably a good idea to take some of the core brigades like uh, O'Hare's, Ohio Outlaws, the Hampton Legion, Paper Collar Brigade, John Brown's Barkers, and uh, pair with them some weaker units that I'd like to, to level up and get some experience for for the big battles. So we're going to go ahead and send these weaker brigades first. And then we'll follow them up with the with the stronger ones. I'm just going to send everybody right at the objective. You can zoom in a little bit here. Probably not going to need the supplies, but I brought some along just in case. Hampton's Legion is going to overrun Appler. They're just faster.
All right, I'm going to send Baldwin out here on the flank because of this cavalry. Same thing with O'Hare over here on the flank. No, 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 hit the artillery. Uh, if you can. Looks like the artillery is about to be overrun, so. Alright, now we're just going to follow these guys up with my stronger infantry brigades. Oh boy, Curtin actually ran right past the artillery. What the heck? That's kind of strange. He ran through the artillery and hit the infantry instead. Looks like the same thing's happening here. That's really weird. All right. It may be because I ordered them to go through, like I gave them a, an objective on the other side and didn't actually have them charge those specific units. I wonder if that's where I went wrong. Surprise Gates is hanging on with fire coming from all sides like this. All right, now we just kind of, we're going to just run him into this area here. I hope this isn't one of those battles where as soon as it's no longer contested, it ends. Because that would be rather anticlimactic. Surprise Gates is still sitting in that fortification. All right, let's start firing on this artillery. curtain up here. I've got him basically boxed in. Please don't end the battle. Okay, it's going to keep going. Good. This is a good battle to get experience for some of my troops. Alright, we'll drop Pew back because he's exhausted. Of course, so is Trig. these guys up. Get Curtin up here. We'll have a nice battle line. What is going on, Gates? Alright, I think we can speed things along here. So looking at casualties... Yeah, I've lost uh, 1,500 men. He's lost at least 2,000. All right, I'm done messing around with you guys.
All right, and Gates has been captured. So there's 900 more men for my force pool. All right, so here's what I want to do here. I want to get these supplies. Paper Collar Brigade, good day for you guys. Geez, 665 kills, 21 deaths. I'm going to try to grab these supplies. There they are. I think the rest of those guys are going to get out of there. Martin's going to end up surrendering. There it is. All right. Who's left? All right, you guys stay right here. Just a mop up at this point. Of course, when you go in outnumbering with three to one, you kind of expect that's going to be the case. All right, we'll speed this one along to the finish. I think we'll probably go ahead and dive right into the next battle in this same episode. He's only got 2,200 men left on the battlefield. Definitely some good experience for some of my new troops. Oh, lost the Brig Brigadier General. There's another surrendered unit. I'll let those guys go. That cavalry will come up and just deal with his infantry. Oh. He just unsurrendered a unit. No, 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 no. Bad, bad. Very bad. He snuck up there with the cavalry. Now he's going to grab my supplies, too. Okay. To the rescue, O'Hare. Get away from my supplies, dude. He's going to get them. For that matter, he grabbed the objective. That tricky, tricky cavalry. That's what happens when you start running all over the map trying to find people to eliminate. They sneak up on you. All right, he's toast. My supplies are getting away. Not cool. Only seven minutes left in the battle, too. Oh, that's frustrating. That was my own stupid fault. I wasn't paying attention over there. So I lost some supplies after capturing some supplies. Lost 2,000 men. Inflicted over 5,000, oh, about 6,000 casualties. I rescued, oh, I rescued those supplies. Okay, good. Because that was a lot of supplies that I would have lost. I uh, captured about 4,500, grabbed a bunch of miscellaneous weapons. Nothing real great, nothing real exciting there. But we'll go ahead and get refit and dive right into the next battle. All right, so let's go ahead and get ready to dive right into the Battle of Perryville, which was uh, fought in Kentucky. I'm just going to basically go with the same force that I did.
get everybody kind of revved back up and ready for another fight. Oh, I should have done this first. Let's go economy again. I'm just trying to get some discounts on, on things. I did change a little bit of my leadership around. I put Grant in charge of the third corps, move McClellan over the first. I've actually, McClellan's actually almost to lieutenant general status, so is Grant. Probably after this battle, he'll be a lieutenant general. And that'll buy me an additional perk, basically, that I'll be able to buy. So we're going to rename these guys as an assault brigade as well. Any of my Springfield 1842s, because they're better at melee. Although these guys, not so much yet. And I think we can actually take some more units into this one. So I'll probably need a third brigade. Let's take a look. Or a third division. Yeah, 14. And we're defending. So let's get some more artillery here. Some Napoleons. These guys are only one star, but we can we can level them up. Hopefully. Where are my 24 pounders? Am I not using them at the moment? Okay. I guess I need to get some 24 pounders. I know I've got some. Yeah, I got 24 of them. Let's that give me 13. Let's take one more brigade that's not so strong. All right, so there's our 14 brigades we'll go with. Um, let's take some supply just in case. I don't know how long this battle goes for. And we'll dive into Perryville. So we're defending a crossroads. He's got almost 20,000 men. I've got 28,000. But since I'm on the defensive, that should be good. All right, start the battle. Here's the objective right here. I don't know exactly where he's going to come from, but I do know I need to get into these woods. Let's do this by divisions, make it a little easier. Maybe. Oh boy, here comes all his force. I don't know if he might come from this side. So I, just, I guess I just kind of need to be prepared for whatever happens. All right, General Grant, get up here. Um, I'm going to bring Triggs Assault back over this way. I 
And then I'm just going to wait here. I'm going to let him come to me. If he does. If not, I'll just start advancing. So I'm not quite sure where he's going to be. But I'll get it down to... If he doesn't attack, I'll get it down to maybe like an hour or so, and then I'll, I'll go after the objective. So we'll come back in when uh, something happens. All right, so here he is. He's taking the objective. He's starting to move in on me now. Looks like he's going to have a suicidal cavalry charge right at my center. I think maybe I'll start moving these guys up to the edge of these woods. Move John Brown's Barkers up here. I want to get these smooth bores up as well. He's backing up. That's interesting. He's got plenty of men. I don't know why he'd concede the field to me like that. Oh, there we go. He did have somebody up here. I just couldn't see him. I think I'm just going to hold these guys right where they are. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. back up a little bit there, Timony. Same with Curtin. He doesn't need to go up that far. Uh, Appler's having a bit of a challenge here. I'm going to bring Pew up so I can help him out. And I'll have to wait until get under an hour or so, and then I'll have to start advancing. Hopefully I'll have caused enough casualties by that point to make it a little easier. Right, we're going to bring Hampton up now. I just want to keep the matchups favorable. Make sure I have at least two brigades firing on any one of his where possible. Keep them there. We'll just let them fire on these guys. There we go. Getting some nice uh, canister fire going now. Right, we'll, 
go ahead and slowly advance. I don't know where the rest of his brigades are, because that's definitely not his whole force. There they are. Getting him bottled up here. Let's keep moving everybody up. bring some of these guys around because he's kind of loading up on this side here and get into their flank a little bit start shifting these guys over too. got an hour left plenty of time to take the objective see how casualties are looking so far oh just about a thousand for me wow almost three thousand for him I wasn't expecting it to be that one-sided I think a lot of that's coming from my artillery. Well, maybe not that much. He's hitting me with some artillery over here, so I'm going to kind of hold off and move in too much more forward. We'll shoot it out for a little while here. Appler's really been heavily engaged, about 500 casualties on each side. Oh, Donaldson surrendered. Nice. That's 1,600 men. Just on the verge of taking the objective with about a half hour to go. 
Artillery's running low on ammo, but not a big deal. There, there's the objective. I'm not going to worry about resupplying the artillery with such a short time left. I think we'll probably just go ahead and be content to hold right there. Not enough time to really effectively pursue him and inflict significantly more casualties. So I'm just going to go ahead and run this one out. Well, we may have to move these guys up a little bit just so this artillery is not tearing into me. Plus, I can afford the casualties more than he can, especially moving forward. Of course, all this sets up the big one, Fredericksburg, which on the Union side is a little more difficult than on the Confederate side, especially when he's going to have a big army. I don't know how big yet. But we've got about three minutes to go here. All right, don't get into a melee attack. Oh, Maxwell just got routed. All right, there we go. So 27, 2,800 casualties for me. Wow, uh, seven, eight, eight and a half thousand. So a lot for him there. Grabbed a few guns. Again, on the Union side, you don't really catch, capture a lot of good weaponry. Most of it's going to come through what I spend. So I've got 50,000 men available in recruits. To go along with 37, 40, 60,000. So I could, in theory, field an army of about 110,000. Of which I'm going to need every bit, I think, for Fredericksburg. Because he's got 95 to 100,000 available. I doubt he's going to have that full number at Fredericksburg. But he doesn't need that whole number at Fredericksburg. So, All right. We'll go ahead and get refit, get ready for the Battle of Fredericksburg. I'll probably record that this weekend sometime and get it up next week. I'm going to be flying back out on Tuesday, heading off to Fayetteville, North Carolina. And uh, so I'll try to get a few things going before that. But as always, I welcome your input, your comments, your observations. If you just hit that thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, I would greatly appreciate it. And we will see you again soon. Thanks for watching, guys.